Hi folks, I've got another unboxing for you today. It's the For Real Friends Cinnamon My Styling Pony. So folks, as some of you already know, I am a collector of robotic and animatronic toys and models. So I'm going to be looking at this from that perspective. But I'll also see what this is like in terms of value for money and play value for viewers who are parents looking to purchase this as a Christmas present. And if you do decide to purchase this, I will be much obliged if you use one of the links below to Amazon in the description as this supports the channel. I also intend to do another video where I compare this animatronic pony with another animatronic pony that Hasbro brought out in their for real range quite a while ago now. It was called Butterscotch. I think that animatronic pony is fantastic. And I have to say that from what the little I've seen of this one, I don't think it's as good. So before I unbox this, let's have a quick look at the packaging because packaging is particularly good on this, I think. So Hasbro's made the packaging look like a little stable. They've even put some apples there in some hay. Surprisingly, this takes four AA batteries, not C cells, which have been typical in large models that Hasbro has made in the For Real Friends range. And the batteries are not included, so if you're purchasing this, folks, you will need to buy four AA batteries. As we can see there, it has 80 plus sounds and reactions. Groom her. Doesn't say whether she reacts to being groomed like the original pony did. Style her might appeal to kids, but not to this collector. And there's a special nighttime mode. So Hasbro's been doing this with a few of the models in recent years. They did with the dolphin last year and they did with Cubby. So without further ado, let's get this pony out of the box. So when you open it up at the top, you've got a little gift box here. I think that must be for the styling accessories. As it says on the box, there's 26 of those all together. And the instructions are in the bottom of the box. I must say that was particularly easy to unbox. There was none of these sort of cable ties on it like they usually have. It was really easy to unbox. I think a child could actually get that out of the box themselves without any help. And I must say, Hasbro's done a fantastic job of the packaging on this one. The internal part of the box, I think, is like a play accessory in itself. It's even got this little door here that looks like an entrance into the stable. And look at the detail on the box of the accessories, like a little treasure chest. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some AA cells and get this pony powered up. So we've got a diagram here in the instructions showing you where and how to put the batteries in. So there's the batteries in the battery box 
I've had to use rechargeables because unfortunately I haven't got any alkaline in at the moment but hopefully they'll be okay and now we'll put the switch on the middle position which is on So this diagram shows where the activation points are on the pony's back, on the muzzle, on the cheeks and in the mouth. So first we'll look at the activation point on the pony's back. Press and hold to hear a song. Okay, so if you do short presses, then you get like a horsey noise <laughs> and some actions. So you've got to actually hold it down to get the song. So next, I'm going to try out the activation points on the side of the cheeks. So here's <laughs> what the pony does when you stroke this side. And that's that side. And then we've got touching the muzzle, which looks like it has the response of the cheeks glowing. I didn't notice this the first time I got to play the tune, but the cheeks <coughs> light up when it's playing the tune. Oh, the cheeks are supposed to light up when you stroke the muscle, but oh, all ah, right, okay. So it takes a few strokes before the pony gives you a kiss and its cheeks light up. So, next, we've got the apple. Now, it just shows you in the picture putting the apple next to the muzzle, so I'm not sure if it's just asking you to do that or if you've got to actually put it in the mouth because normally on the sorts of toys they have a, a switch in the mouth under the tongue but the diagram's not that clear so we'll just have to see so the apple must be in the box and the brush must be in there as well yeah all the little accessories to adorn the pony with got these um, horseshoes you can put on not sure about this uh, I think it might be sort of like a, a hair slide I'm not sure and then finally we've got ah the apple which is also the brush the, it's a two-purpose accessory so it doesn't look like this has got a magnet in or anything like that. It's too thin. So I would have thought you would have to put this in a pony's mouth, but we'll see. So holding it like that in the picture, which does nothing. 
So let's try putting it into the... <laughs> yeah, normally they've got a switch. <laughs> right. So it's like the lower part of the jaw is the switch. So you've got to actually press the lower part of the jaw down. That's quite interesting. It's making lots of belching sounds like it's had too much apple and it doesn't want any more. Oh, yeah, I'm going to try this one more time. Oh, that's interesting. She shook her head. She doesn't want any apple. Oh, I like that. It's good that they've got different reactions to the apple. She may want it or she may have had too much to eat. I like that. So there's nothing in the, in any of the diagrams about brushing the pony. So I presume that it doesn't react. I mean, there's no magnet in it or anything. And um, yeah, I don't think it reacts at all to the brush. So both the front legs and the back legs are poseable. Oh, these are really quite stiff. That's the back legs, so you can make the pony sit, and the front leg is jointed like that, but only that one, the other one isn't. So, oh, you feel like you're breaking it because it's so stiff. So that's the pony in the lying position. And now we'll try out the nighttime mode. So we just switch the switch to the right. And then plays light nighttime noises it's really quite pleasant mm. it's changed into sort of spacey music now mm. with so uh, nighttime sounds before so we'll just give a sort of summing up while i show you some of these accessories so paul first of all for a child what do you think? Do you think this has got a decent amount of play value for a child? Yes. Yes, I do too. Yeah, no question about that. That's how the decorative horseshoes go on. Okay. I think whilst these things are really gimmicky for adults who like to see, you know, animation in yeah. things, yeah. Um, as a children's toy, uh, I would think that a kid would yeah, like I think if I messing kid, about I, I would with like these. Playing it around with all like the horseshoes and what's that? Is that for I, putting over I the? I think that's for putting over the. Well, it's um, like a hairband, a flower. I believe it goes it, yeah. there like that. So, how about if you are someone who's a collector? Mm, not so much if you're a collector. It doesn't really. Um, it's not really like butterscotch. I don't know if you, yeah. You know, you well, I'm going to do a comparison between this and butterscotch. Um, what I would say is that this seems like to have done some things on the cheap that butterscotch didn't. Oh, yeah. And I'll explain that when I do my comparison video. See those flowers you're clipping onto the hair that are now on the horse. I think that's, I think kids would love doing that. Yeah. So folks, I hope that gives you some idea, whether you're a collector or a parent, thinking about getting this as a present. Thanks for watching as always, and see you real soon in my comparison video.